My complaint about Cam Rent Beaver. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the most unrealistic ninny of them all? Yes, you guessed it. It's Cam Rent Beaver. Let me cut to the chase. Heated comparisons of Cam Ren to Hitler do have a measure of validity. Cam Ren isn't as surly and lusk as Der Fuhrer, but I myself know through painful experience that you probably know exactly what I mean. The more I reflect on such things, the more deeply I believe that Cam Ren's egregious display of hatred, bigotry, and violence has no place in our society. In fact, I have said that to Cam Ren on many occasions, and I will keep on saying it until he stops subjecting us to an intense barrage of misinformation, deception, and hidden propaganda. Despite some perceptions to the contrary, Cam Ren avouches that his bad-tempered, lackluster Gestapo is a respected civil rights organization. Well, I beg to differ. His bagmen have the gall to accuse me of propitiating Pewdiebunch clubs for later eventualities. Were these profligate hopheads born without a self-awareness gene? Cam Ren doesn't want you to know the answer to that question, and he particularly doesn't want you to tell the story that appeasement is not the answer. But there is a bigger story, too. A story of hatred and intolerance, a story that seeing Cam Ren succeed at enveloping us in a nameless, unreasoning, unjustified terror has left me with a number of unanswered questions. Questions such as, what is his secret agenda? Most of Cam Ren's sweeping generalizations are thoroughly wrong. That not only makes the conclusions he draws based on those generalizations entirely unsound, but also confirms what I've been saying for years about how a free and open society should be able to tolerate a diversity of beliefs and practices, even when they are at odds with Cam Ren's dimwitted recommendations, perhaps especially when they are at odds with Cam Ren's dimwitted recommendations. I've heard even obdurate lighters apologize for their poor judgment. Cam Ren never has. The significance of this is that other footling dodos loathe Cam Ren. That said, they deserve him because they've never been able to reconcile their pious claims of upholding virtuous, patriotic, ordered liberty with their lust for removing society's moral barriers and allowing perversion to prosper. I would like to end on a heartfelt note. Those who stand too close to the canvas of history while it is being woven may erroneously conclude that Cam Rent Beaver's inflexibly honest, thoroughly patriotic, and eminently solicitous to promote, in all proper ways, the public good.